Hello everybody, Steven here, back with the Villa Delva. So, in the past videos we mainly worked on, on the house itself, and I was thinking maybe it's time to kind of model a little bit of the, the context. So I went ahead and um, got some reference photos of um, what we could model, and as you can see here, I think it would be a good idea to model this wall here, uh, the footpath and the, the streets. And then we can play with the level of the garden. Um, there's like staircase there and here. And if we look back at the floor plans, so you can see here at the back they actually have staircase and some, I guess, some planting area. Uh, I've seen that in one of the video. So it's right here. So maybe we can add that and maybe the locations of the different um, trees. Okay. Um, so I went to Google Map and you can access the street view. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, um, you just drag this little guy here in the corner and then when the blue line pops, you just drop it in front and then you could turn around and you can see that wall. And so for that, you can see the wall is like stone here, then it's recessing inside, then walls, then you got some uh, like columns type and there's like capping on top, um, door openings and there's some little um, decoration there. So we're going to try to do that. Let's go back here. And I think first I need to increase uh, this. Um, I'll go into one of the section, like this one here. You can see those at the different levels and the street should be a bit lower. Um, so what we can do is, let's see maybe we can shift everything so the zero is going to be at the road level i think we need to move to 16. story setting and here we're going to raise that to and normally everything will be pushed up and That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, so this should be zero. And this is zero. It, it's the house level. Um, actually, maybe I need to add um, I think I need to add another level. So that's going to be street level. And this is like, because this is garden level there, and um, maybe we're going to do um, house entry level. And then street level. Maybe this one's going to be. Okay. Um, now we can just shift that. Now we get the house entry there. We got a street level here. And we need to um, maybe make this a bit higher. Go back into the section, and now it's starting from here. And 
course maybe I'm just gonna hide that because I need to know what's the slope uh, so that's I think there's a sidewalk and that's the ramp and that's the road first I'm just gonna check what's the angle So let's do that. Maybe I can just copy that image down. So I have an idea where to put that uh, driveway. And let's see, I'm just gonna use a roof tool. And I'm gonna use that. Uh, I don't know if I, I must have traced this line here and this one. So it's a house entry. That's here. And I just want to use that as a reference to um, create my driveway. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to do it straight. Yeah. Shape it like that. And we had what three fifty, and I'm just going to create a footpath as well. Making sure it's lining up, and this one's four seven eight and. Trying to um, keep round numbers. And over here. Now let's go in 3D view. And we're going to take that. Put it at the bottom. The garage entry. And this is going to be around there as well. Okay, uh, that looks a bit alright. Now I need to look at the photos. You can see here there's like a brick wall. Uh, a bit of photos of that. Like this one, there's a high brick wall. And that's where the Lines are so it's this part here, so we're just gonna push that in uh, 900. Fifty and push it. Good, and now we're gonna do um solid operation. I'm going to select this one as the target and I'm going to use the ramp that I just made. So I'm just going to hide that for now so I can select this. So it's going to be my operator. I'm going to bring it back and I want a subtraction with a port extrusion. So everything that's above that um, ramp that's going to be removed. Cute. Good and so here we would have a a wall and it seems higher in the photos. Maybe this is going oh yeah because this one's supposed to go all the way here. Okay, 
we're gonna fix that later. And do I have a floor? Yeah, the floor there. I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I'm just gonna be the operator. Target execute. And now we have uh, some type of staircase here. We have front wall, staircase there. And let's do our wall. And make sure it's about what, 400. And this need to be dropped down here. A look at reference image. Uh, was it this one? Oops. Um, let's check the height because um that's the one that I want to make here. And it it's about right. And now we just need to check the height of the that side. Roughly about right, one meter. And here yeah, it's one thing, maybe eight hundred. Eight hundred. And I'm gonna bring that back here. I'm just gonna change the angle. Yeah. Okay, and now what we can do is um, create a target. Okay, so it's behind it, and I'm not too sure how far or high from the. But one window. This one is not length, just to two meters. Oh. And what I'm thinking is maybe create a a profile, a complex profile. Just gonna take a section tool. I'm gonna come to the highest part of it. Yeah. And I'm just gonna try to draw that. Just gonna have fill. That's gonna be the width of the wall. Then I want to have a part where there is like the stone, a cap, and then this. Stone maybe 800. And let's put it two. There's a cap. And 50. I'm bringing it out a little bit. 50 and then it's going back in recess so that's about what 
600. Fifty, hundred, maybe a bit more, fifty, and I'm gonna take the same cap here. What's up there? There's another cap. Hundred, hundred. Make sure it's one sixteen fifty, and this one's gonna be fifty on top, and maybe fifty on that side as well. I'm not sure what type. What is on the back? Um, just like that. Put it to the side. I'm gonna say that's gonna be some that, um thin stone thing. Uh, pebbles. <laughs> Maybe just with pebble for now. And this is gonna be some type of concrete block. Um this is gonna be Lightweight concrete, and we're gonna do the same here. Lightweight concrete, we're gonna use that as a profile. Copy, copy, control C, option, complex profile, profile manager, create new. Uh, Street ball. It's okay. Control V to paste, and you can see the little um, cross here. That's like the reference point. So I'm gonna put it um, here, and I'm gonna save that as a wall. Night store. I use it as a wall. Now if I press F2, I'm gonna go back to the plan. And you can select that wall and change to crop its profile and straight wall. I need to flip it to the other side and uh, actually, maybe I should. So it's like this. I think I want. This to be flush with here, so I can go edit, take that, and I change the reference uh, point location, store again, go back to press uh, F2, and press F5 to go into 3D, and see that now it's lined up, and. I actually want this to go here. Okay. And I want that wall to be um <clears throat> I need to create some of the openings. looks too far away with it and I'm just gonna change that to hundred one hundred and make this cap thirty instead thirty oops Store mm. 
need to change the reference point. I think I need to find a way to change the color of this later. Now I'm just gonna create the opening here for the um garage for the entry. And I'm gonna have door tool stretch it all the way to here. Eight. Get a little problem here, do it because I use a complex wall, um, doesn't do it properly. So, actually, what I can do, I'm just going to stop that wall there and have that as a separate one. Yeah. And this is going to be stuck to here. And now I can have a garage door that size. Bring it down. I'm just going to resize it so that the hole will disappear. And it's like metals, and you got a post there. It's like a reveal. Maybe instead of having a door, I could just um. Let's see. Metal stainless steel. I want to get rid of the frame. Yeah, it might have been better to just um leave ninety. Okay, good. And Trying to see if I can make it flush. This flush with the wall. Um, then you can see it needs to be pushed a little bit in. And so. Heal. A little bit. And 
then I'm just gonna add that post there. Make it 400 by 400. There and then rotate. Bring it down. Up here. Just trying to get run numbers. Still, still. Also, gonna do a creation. So it's gonna be creator as a target. And let me just pull that up. I'm going to make a copy of that. Bring it here. Shorten that. That level, and then change the angle. Match. And I'm going to make another one. Because this is going to be um, another color. You can see here there's an angle. Um, I think I need to model that as well. I'm just going to create the opening here. So we get a door in here. Door. And let's see. Two point four here one a bit bigger and maybe we're gonna try to line it up so I press the shift and that little wave um, sign to get the a guideline and I'm just gonna move that so it's center. 3D and I'm gonna move that door down yeah and maybe I'm gonna make it a taller 2.8 I wasn't uh, well, I'm not sure about the exact height of that ball, so to do those two rear windows and replace the columns as well I'm gonna take the same one here 
I'm going to press Ctrl D to get a copy, and then Alt to get the plus plus. Uh, put here, on here, and in between square, square. What's this? One point four. Mm, looks a bit wide. Or maybe the wall is just not high enough. Maybe I'll tweak it later. How many? One and two. I'm gonna take that, make some copies, distribute. It's gonna be two. Ah, and get this opening there. window size it in 3d view there um, as you can see this is I think that wall needs to be higher because window needs to be above the floor and so let's say right here uh, so it need to be at least uh, let's do the wall at four meters Looks a bit bigger compared to the photos. Maybe I'm just going to do the Yeah, things a bit better. Take those columns. And I guess this one going to be change as well. Lift it up.
It's too high. And maybe I can just tweak the the contour here so it goes a bit it's sloping down. That that door is just too high. Sorry guys, huh? it's taking a while, but because I haven't really, I don't have the right dimensions, so. 3.1. That wall is... Almost... Yeah. And so how much do I need to remove? Seven twenty seven. Seven store. Looks better. Um, 
change that. Doesn't allow me to um, change the height. Okay. Now we need to just add this, um, which I think is just going to be, I'm just going to use the wall tool and I'm going to make it non-linked to 1000 here, make sure it's flipped. I'm going to change the thickness to 10 and push it aside. Change the height. Hundred. Make a copy of that, and I'm just gonna resize it. Six hundred. And hundred here. Like six hundred as well, and then move it. And I'm going to flip it. And it looks a bit thicker. And I'm going to change the color to white. Just gonna take that, make it as a group, and then I copy over to that side. Okay, and now we need to create that little um, seal there. This one. Uh, I don't know if you can add a seal to an opening like this. That custom. Maybe instead, what we can do is to just create a normal window. Um, basic, take this one and There's no empty. Um, maybe we can just do to create that little um, Oh, we can just use a slab. It looks pretty flat to me. Sorry, don't know if you could hear that, but then the, there was like the alert type of sound. Hundred and went over by to fifty. Fifty. Let's go 
in 3D view, see where that slab is, correct position, and I'm going to change the thickness to 50, maybe even bigger, 75, copy that side. And now maybe let's do that grill there. Like one here, one here, one, two, four. There's like <laughs> see if there's enough photos for that. This one, two, three, four, and five. Four. So for that, what we can do is um. We know it's one meter. I'm just going to create a fill. Uh, one meter. And let's say 25. I'm bring it down. And that. Hundred. See four. It's kind of like that, and let's check the height. There's like a gap one, two, three, four. <laughs> Change the background to transparent. And this one is going to be 100. Actually, I'm going to try to make all of them uh, Oh, it could just oh, same space. Um, five.
five instead. A lot of work around just to arrive at this. Um, so why do this? Is because I think you just create like a slab and use the fill as a guides so I'm just using the magic wand What's the size? I think I did 25, so I'm just going to change all oh, the slabs over 25. I press F5 and, and zoom in, so that's what I have. So now I'm just going to make a copy and bring it here. Make it into a morph, press OK. And I'm just going to rotate it. And try to place it five hundred. Okay, and I'm gonna make another one here. And now I'm going to go in three D view. It's right there. Take those two. And what I want to do is to try to do a rotation in 3D. And try to get to a surface that's uh, in the same plane that you want to do rotation. 90 degrees. Oops. Minus 90. And... You shift to stick to that plane, and now I'm just gonna try to enter it, and I'm gonna make a group. Wow. Oops, it's frozen. So voila, uh, we can I have it there. Um, oh my god, like this one's going all the way to the top. Um, and I changed it here easily. I mean, I could try to. I could just I'm just thinking it would have been really easier to to just use like some uh, extrusion like a beams post put it in place so I can still move stuff around and then group them together and and create that uh, that shape. And well, 
we're just going to do that right now. The other methods was a bit slow. And by doing this way, um, I could change the profile of it if I wanted to. Where are those? And so on here. I'm just going to put that there. And that. Now I can just delete this. Oops. Where's my beam? Okay, there you go. Um, house entry, thousand. Oh, of course, it isn't right there. Uh, I think it disappeared because um, the wall itself, the concrete, like it has a higher, um, what do you call that, properties. So I just need to change that to something that's as high. Now you can see it appear there. Can delete this. Or maybe I won't delete that. I just need them as a reference. P I can do this. All of that. Make a group. Change. Paint. And I think I'm not even gonna, gonna turn into a morph in case I decide in the future to just change the size of the profile. Um, I'm just gonna keep it as a group. And make a copy, use that point as reference, and voila. Okay, uh, I think that's gonna be it for this session. Um, that wall took a bit longer than I expected, but we're gonna get there. Thank you.